Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. This week I actually bring you a real-time process of the demo art for the Fairy Tales collection. So the Fairy Tale collection is based on Alice in Wonderland, hence why I really wanted to draw Alice sleeping amongst the flowers. It's a scene that's always really been stuck in my head, like the little garden with the flowers kind of just bullying her, <laughs> really stuck with me and I really wanted to draw that. So this collection is composed with three colors, uh, the Ruby Royal Flush, which is a gorgeous rose color with some gold glitter, uh, green with curiosity. If you know me, I know you don't, I don't really enjoy green, but this green actually has a red sheen that I really enjoy. So I'm not as mad with this green as I thought I would be. It also has a blue shimmer and then tumbling time blue, which is a very navy blue with also a red sheen and some silver sparkles. So these colors are all very fun and very in your face. They are quite vibrant and I really did enjoy them. The Ruby Royal flush was actually, is actually my favorite. I think it's, I think it's the one that didn't get as much showtime. In this drawing because I quite diluted it so it does not have that much sheen. You can see the sheen in the lines that I do in the end but it's not as like in your face as the other colors since I really went heavy with those. The way that it kind of has a little bit of other colors it shaded it was really really nice. I quite enjoy just going very flowy in the roses so I'm quite happy with that part. So my beginning plan for this drawing was quite different. I kind of thought I would want it to do fully with lines with hatching but after seeing the beautiful just sheen it created when it really piled up in a wash I just really wanted to make that part of the piece and just do go with washes. I was quite loose with the first few layers and you'll see when I'm going with the ruby color I really go quite just free with it and it just created the most beautiful washes in my opinion so I'm quite happy that I went more fluid with it and that it came out very nice. I'm not going to talk throughout the whole video I think this video might be interesting to just if you can just relax and enjoy it. So uh, I just want to thank Ferris Wheel Press as always for sending me these goodies and this collection is really really stunning it just it's so nice i really am happy with how the drawing came out and i just am quite excited about it and i hope you guys enjoy it as well in the end i also used a black ink that's a waterman's intense black uh, you'll see that i wanted to create a border around it so that is the ink that i used it's one of my favorite black inks of all time it's quite a soft color even though it's called intense black it makes no sense to me <laughs> but I quite enjoy it as a color. As always, you can use the code uh, BABISHKUR10 to get 10% off your next Ferris Wheel Press purchase and also just support my creative journey. The code will be down below if you want to use it. Do you let me know if you would like to see a bit more real-time footage in the future because, I don't know, I think it's quite interesting to see the actual speed <laughs> that the artist goes. I'm quite slow especially with some lines there were some parts that I barely breathed because I was just trying to make it work. So yeah, I'm going to leave you with music with the rest of the video. There is not a lot of sounds because to be honest the brush doesn't make a lot of sounds so uh, feel free to put your own music if you don't like the music that I provided. Thank you so much for watching guys as always. You guys are, be are just the best and I just really want to say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me out a lot. Leave a like and yeah, let me know if you want more real-time videos because they are quite nice to edit, they're quite chill. And yeah, do let me know and enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!